Good evening. A truly shocking picture emerged today of the physical, emotional and sexual abuse inflicted on tens of thousands of innocent children in industrial schools. Today's landmark report says sexual abuse was endemic in boys' schools and a crime of the fear existed in state-run institutions across the country. It went unchecked because the religious orders covered it up and the Department of Education was too deferential and submissive to church leaders to do anything about it. The report, 10 years in the making, sets out in harrowing detail how children were failed repeatedly by the institutions of church and state for five decades. The five-volume report was finally released at a press conference in Dublin this afternoon, attended by dozens of national and international media. This is the end of a long journey for us in the Commission, but that is little when set against the long search for justice and recognition by victims of institutional abuse. Over the past 10 years, the Commission to Inquire into Child Abuse heard evidence from over 1,000 men and women who reported being abused in 216 schools and residential institutions between 1914 and 2000. They were flogged, kicked, scalded and burned, and half of them sexually abused. The report finds there was a climate of fear in most institutions. Children lived with the daily terror of not knowing where their next beating was coming from. Reformatory and industrial schools depended on rigid control by means of excessive corporal punishment. It was systematic and not the result of individual breaches. The report says the Department of Education was aware that abuse occurred in schools and knew that the violence and beatings were endemic within the system. It says the deferential and submissive attitude of the Department of Education towards the congregations compromised its ability to carry out a statutory duty of inspection and monitoring of the schools. The Commission makes a number of recommendations. A memorial should be erected with a permanent apology from the state. Counselling and educational services should be available. Family tracing services should be continued. And the provision of childcare services should be reviewed on a regular basis. The Commission believes these recommendations are necessary to alleviate the trauma suffered by the victims and to prevent other children from enduring the same. Diane Connor, TV3 News.